it's really reflective of who we are as a society and what's happening in the art world right now. Street art around the world is a growing, living, emerging art form that incorporates all of us and it's changing every day. You can come back um, two days after you finished a mural and someone may have added something to it or the weather may have changed it. So it's exciting to see uh, um, the world as part of this process of outdoor art. Boy, and I guess the weather makes this kind of art so different than anything else you do in a studio. It does, and I'm used to it. Um, this is my favorite form of art just because it is so dynamic and unpredictable. And it's also um, a sport. I get my workout when I crawl up my scaffolding. <laughs> You've done a number of these now around the city. Is this, what, four? This will be my fifth one. Okay. Uh, for the city, I've done three. Okay. Um, the, I mean, the, the first one I remember is the one well, coming over the Chatham Bridge. That was the first one, and that was one of the first murals I remember, you know, seeing in the city. And it just, I mean, it, it just took your breath away at first. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was 2012, the Downtown Mural Project. It was a very exciting endeavor where the city helped assist um, a total of 10 people bring a mural to to fruition and what was in my mind for over a decade finally took place in a matter of 28 days with a good crew. I didn't realize it was that quick. <laughs> yes, it was. 28 days. I, boy, the, the things, I mean, we, we talk about weather, you, you talk about things that might be attached to the building. Well, when you do murals, I mean, you, I guess you have to be flexible. You do and you have to uh, persevere through all the heat and um, it's just it gives you a greater opportunity to meet people and, and work with the public and educate them about the process. This, talk about this one here. All right. Well, I got um, to design two different murals this summer, and this is the latter of the two, and it will focus on the downtown community that enjoys the river along the new canal path. And the river path incorporates bikers, tubers, kayakers, um, it's an aerial view. It's about, I'd say, 50 to 70 feet up in the air. And that way you get a nice little feel um, of the, the city coming in from the river, from a bird's eye view. It, it, it's it, the way, just with, with the bird and everything there, it's, it, it really is striking. Well, good. Excellent. Yeah, I wanted the bird to um, catch your attention and kind of help focus on what you're looking at because right now, you can't really tell what's happening. So once we get all those details in on the river and all the rocks added, I think the bird will all bring it together. To do a mural during a hurricane and other <laughs> the other kind of weird weather we've had this year, it has to be a challenge. It is, and you just use your patience. And luckily, we don't have a deadline. Luckily, the wall is the most important thing right now. And we'll respect the weather, we'll respect the wall. Uh, boy, uh, like we said, I mean, a, a mural really can change the, the building, just, just even the community around it. Yes, and this area is ripe for redevelopment. Um, this, this corridor into the city is richly deserving a lot of love and attention, and this is just the beginning, hopefully. And it, you, you put, the, you put the, the Mill District mural up at the beginning of, at the head of Princess Anne, and that really was the start of the change here, I think. I hope, I hope it will bring greater things and encourage other artists to reach out to community members and be a part of the community as an artist.